looking at you over the last couple of years and that's what we've called this conversation in your life i see the personal and the political in meshing right it's like the personal has literally become the political so you spoke about this trauma 32 years later because you were actually trying to make a political point in the deepest possible way uh, you're also you know been been a very vocal voice on the kamla harris biden campaign i saw your interview with kamla harris i think i think for you the the possibility that trump would has grabbed them by the pussy kind of politics it was it was horror as it was for millions of women what's this year been like because even the food show that you're fronting for hulu uh, you know we don't get to see it here but unless we download it illegally you have to send me that link it's about the politics of <laughs> of immigration it's about the politics of immigration and seen through food right it's all these migrant communities mm-hmm. and their food and their culture and their contribution to to society so take a look back at this year how political it's been for you how the personal just stepped in and slipped into the political i mean i never thought of myself as a political person i really didn't i um you know i i was in college as a financial aid student during the bush years and so i remember how things were being cut for people who were that when Hillary Clinton was running um yeah. you know I felt I had to do everything I could for her and even before that when Barack Obama was running I campaigned for him but you know it was sort of a generalized this is what I should do because I can sort of thing you and I spoke when that election was going on in a park here at Washington Square Park and I said to you then you know he I I said to you you know he's tacky he's loud he's a, you know con man even i did not and many of us did not think that he could cause as much damage as he has in the short time you know in the four years and and i really thought it was going to be a slam dunk like most people i mean you were even with me on the night in javits center when yeah. you know we were all yeah. there with hillary on the night of the election it was such a heartbreaking moment i couldn't even finish the interview with you because i started crying um and then what happened is that very the election i saw how he was vilifying immigrants and i was an immigrant i am an immigrant i came to america when i was 4 and my mother came here when when i was 2 and you know we've made our life like so many millions of people who have built this country you know coming here from all over the world and i really resented the muslim ban i really resented um how he was talking about uh Mexicans being rapists and I just found it really offensive and really ignorant and you know I really grew up in a neighborhood with immigrants and so now I'm being presented as somebody who's very much in a different situation but I those are my people like I you know my mother's a nurse my father's a plumber like I still feel inside my heart like that little girl you know so it just pissed me off And so I started working for the ACLU and I'm not a politician. I don't ever want to be a politician, but you know, I just used my personal experience to um say what I thought I should be said, what I believed in. And so I really I really really became very political through my personal beliefs. And I think that the things that are very personal to our lives are exactly the kinds of things that we should be political about. There's nothing more political um than food, for example. You know, politics yeah. really should be about government giving to its people what they need. Politics should be about the needs of the people because that is the only reason that government exists and should yeah. exist. you know in any country it exists to protect our borders it pr- exists to protect our people it exists to protect our environment it exists to protect hopefully the weakest members of our society to educate them to keep them healthy all of these things are why we need organized government so if you have a government that is not addressing the needs of its people then that government you know cease should cease to exist and and so i i i cannot think of anything more political than food and i 